kids. So in order to celebrate our Christmas episode, we're going to be decorating this Christmas tree and I have Stephen here to help me. So let's get started. We did okay. Yeah, we didn't do a bad job at all. I think it'll look all right when we get it uh, in the dark. What do you think, kids? Think it'll look good? Yeah, we do too. We'll have to come back later though, show you guys the real tree. Wait, we're supposed to be hosting the show right now. Oh, I knew we oh. forgot something. Okay, we need to go. Bye, guys. We laugh out loud and learn new things. We wonder what tomorrow brings. Adventures and new songs to sing. Laughing and learning, learning out loud. The sunrise brings a brand new day. Learning out loud. We'll meet new friends along the way. Learning out loud. Just in time. Whew. Hey kids, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Thanks for joining us for our Great Big Christmas Show today. We have such a jam-packed show for you guys. So much to see. So much to see. We've got our usual lineup of crazy characters to see, like Dr. Funzo. I always love what he brings to our show. I learn so much every time we see him. We also have a special reunion of our spooky Halloween hosts, Hagatha and Dr. Akila. Along with a lot of other familiar faces, they're going to teach us all a nice little Christmas lesson. It'll be a nice Christmas story for them and for you this week. And we all know that for Christmas, finding a super cool sweater that doesn't seem super silly is ideal. But here on Learning Out Loud, we love silly. So we've got an ugly Christmas sweater contest coming up. Nothing but the best, or in this case, worst, for you kids at home. Oh, I, I know I've had a couple of those sweaters, especially when I was a little boy. Granny was definitely not afraid to put me in a sweater that would scare the cat. Oh, I think we've all had a sweater or two like that. But there's only one man I can think of who would still wear his lab coat to Christmas dinner. Do you kids know who that could be? If you said Dr. Funzo, you're right. Well, let's jump right in. What are we waiting for? Here is Dr. Funzo. Funzo, Funzo, Dr. Funzo, 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 Dr. Funzo. Speakers roasting on a Bunsen burner. Oh. So hey, what the hey? Oh, oh no! Oh, fiddlesticks like clockwork every Christmas. Oh, hey kids, good to see you again. Welcome to Dr. Funzo's brand new laboratory of learning. You see, sometimes Dr. Funzo forgets to pay his rent, so he has to find himself a new lab. Dr. Funzo doesn't mind, it's all good. He likes the spontaneity. Okay, Dr. Funzo was just hanging up his Christmas lights so Santa will come and stop at his house. But, see, Dr. Fonzo lives a cost-effective lifestyle, which means he has to buy cost-effective products. Like this string of lights here, which can be very frustrating. You see, these run on a, what is called a series circuit, which means if one light bulb burns out down the line, all the ones that follow it will burn out as well. See, that means Dr. Fonzo has to go through each and every light on the string, children, very unpleasant to find which one had burned out and when he does he fixes it and hopefully the rest of them will light back up. But this isn't the only kind of Christmas lights you can buy. You can get ones that run on what is called a parallel circuit which means that if one burns out it is the only one that stays burned out and you can fix it with ease. All right. Now Dr. Funzo is going to kind of get, see if he can twist these a little bit more and see if he can find them. Oh, a Christmas miracle. Oh, children, Santa's going to be so excited when he sees Dr. Funzo's amazing setup this year. Just look at this, the lab, we have tinsel, we have snowman, we have everything. 
All right, children. Dr. Funzel's not going to bore you with setting up the rest of his decorations, and he wants to make sure that you children have a very merry Christmas with your families and everybody. Spread the cheer, children. And as always, keep learning. Thanks, Dr. Funzel, and Merry Christmas, buddy. Hopefully you get some better lights in your stocking this year. Another great lesson, but don't forget to have your parents show you how to do that before you try it yourself. You could get a shocking result. Yes, be, be safe, children. The lights always get me into the Christmas spirit, but not everybody celebrates Christmas. There are many different beliefs and celebrations. In this week's story time, we will learn all about that. And because this is an extra special episode of Learning Out Loud, our story is going to be extra long. So let's take a look at the first part of Timothy's Christmas decoration story. Twas the day before the night before Christmas, and chaos was stirring throughout the Anderson house. Dad was constantly shoveling the driveway because snow was constantly falling. Mom was baking, cleaning, cooking, and repeating that cycle. My older sister Lisa was singing every Christmas carol and song she had learned or half learned. We were only a few hours away from Christmas Eve and our house had only a few decorations. Dad was supposed to be helping with that, but he's picky about snow on the driveway. What can I help with, Mom? I asked. I want to put up some decorations. Mom insisted that I stay out of the kitchen. Go outside and ask your dad. He's a professional. And you be careful, Timothy. Then I put on my thickest socks, my warmest sweater, my snow pants and jacket, my gloves, my toque, and of course, my big black boots. I walked outside and there was Dad, still shoveling. I didn't even have to ask Dad if I could help decorate. As soon as he saw me bundled up in my snowsuit, he handed me a box of ornaments and asked me to decorate the tree in our front yard. I'll be right here if you need any help. And you be careful, Timothy. Dad went back to shoveling the snow and left me the responsibility of decorating the tree. I wasn't going to let him down. I was going to make our front yard look beautiful. And of course, I was going to be careful. First, I whipped a string of lights around the tree. I wanted this tree to light up at night. Tonight was Christmas Eve. And just like all good TV, they keep you wanting more. We'll have to get back to Timothy in a little bit. I can't wait to see all those crazy characters. Oh, me too. Hey, Megan. How do you decorate your house for the holidays? Okay, well I get this huge Christmas tree in my house and I put every Christmas ornament on it that can handle. How about you, Steven? Oh, that sounds amazing. I like to put lights everywhere. I put them in my room, all throughout the house, on our Christmas tree, and even on all the trees outside. Wow, that must be really bright and pretty. I hope all you kids have fun decorating this year. We need to take a short break now, though. Stay tuned, kids. We will be right back, I promise. Coming up, Luke and James compete to see who has the best Christmas sweater, plus much more here on Learning Out Loud. Next time on Conestoga Connected, Brock McDonald and Tyler Bitten get ready to rumble in the ring on Top Contender. We delve into the world of role-playing on Geek Speak, and Curtis Gerard becomes one with nature on the great outdoors. Conestoga Connected, only on Rogers TV. Next time on Conestoga Connected, Hillary and Thomas delve into the world of comic books. Kendall's hips don't lie as she explores the African culture, and Curtis helps us find our way home if we get lost in the great outdoors. On Conestoga Connected, only on Rogers TV. Next time on Conestoga Connected, we get wet and wild on Top Contender. Cultural Corner heads to the outback for a crazy adventure, and we learn about acoustic guitar on surrounding sounds. On Conestoga Connected, only on Rogers TV. Next time on Conestoga Connected, we learn about manga and anime on Geek Speak. We explore the world of happy harmonicas on surrounding sounds and the whole nine yards on Top Contender. Conestoga Connected, only on Rogers TV. Next week on Conestoga Connected, Tyler and Brock shoot for the win in archery. Kara explores the Russian accent on Cultural Corner and we learn first aid on the great outdoors. On Conestoga Connected, only on Rogers TV. Next time on Conestoga Connected, we learn about manga and anime on Geek Speak. We explore the world of happy harmonicas on surrounding sounds and the whole nine yards on Top Contender. Conestoga Connected, only on Rogers TV. Next time on Conestoga Connected, we get wet and wild on Top Contender. Cultural Corner heads to the outback for a crazy adventure and we learn about acoustic guitar on surrounding sounds. On Conestoga Connected, only on Rogers TV. Next time on Conestoga Connected, Brock McDonald and Tyler Bitten get ready to rumble in the ring on Top Contender. We delve into the world of role-playing on Geek Speak, 
and Curtis Gerard becomes one with nature on the great outdoors. Conestoga Connected, only on Rogers TV. Hope you guys didn't miss us too much. We're back and ready to jump right into the next segments. We've got Luke and James on Ugly Sweater Patrol, fighting for the crown of the worst dressed. Then, Stephen and I have a super sweet surprise to share with all of you. It'll definitely be a treat. For now though, let's see what Luke and James got up to this week. Ugly Christmas Sweater Contest! <laughs> I think this is actually going to be a pretty difficult decision. You said it, James. You know, after seeing your stellar moves out there, I really think uh, you should take this one. Oh, so wow. you're the winner. Thanks a lot, Luke, but uh, I think that your sweater is actually, you know, I think it's better, so you're uh, the winner. No, 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 you're the winner. C come on, you know, just just take take the victory. No, 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 no. I, I said it first. I gave you the win. You, you know, have the better I, sweater. I'm the, big, I'm the bigger man. You, you have the win. Okay, I think this is actually a little bit too difficult. I think we need to get a second opinion on this one. Yeah, I totally agree. All right, everyone, welcome Judge Isaac to the show. Hey, thanks for joining us, Isaac. All right, what do you think? Is, do you think mine's better, or do you sure, think his? Think yeah. Mine's better. Both of them are fine. I don't really care. But when are we going to get the Christmas cookies? Ah, you won't. We'll, we'll bake them later. This is, this is all the time we have, all right? Thanks for joining us, everybody. I guess we're, I guess we're both the winners, yeah. <laughs> right? Oh, all right. Join us next time where we interview the Easter Bunny. Okay, wait, that can't be right. I mean, uh, I guess... we'll get him anyway. We'll get him anyway. Uh, join us next time. Yeah, join us next Bunny. time. Yeah. And Merry Christmas, everyone. I think they made the right call there. Both those sweaters gave me headaches just to look at. Best to tuck them into the closet until next year, guys. Hopefully decorating these great gingerbread treats will be able to get rid of the memories of those things for a while. We'll give it our best shot. Tell you what, why don't you take the house and I'll take these guys, okay? Let's see what we can do here. What are you gonna do to your house, Megan? Well, I don't know if I wanna put any candy on the actual gingerbread house yet. I like my gingerbread candy free, so I'm gonna make a little uh, walkway going up. Okay, I'm gonna start with a couple gumdrops right here. You see, give them some buttons, right? Work on that for a minute, work on that. Let's see here. What color should the next gumdrop be, Megan? What do you think? Yellow, I purple, think green? Yellow is good. Yellow Go is good. Yellow. yellow is in my hand. Look at that. Right. Making some real progress here. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, definitely needs a green one to round it out. Look, he looks like a stoplight. <laughs> that is great. I didn't even mean to do that. Red, yellow, and green. Okay, now, I think I know what he needs. He needs some shoes. We're going to put this some shoes on him. Okay, 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 look at us go. Look at us go, right? This is going well. This, so far, so far. All those look great on there. Right? Oh, the little pathway, I like the look of that, Megan. That looks fantastic. Thank you. You're very welcome. There we go, now he's got two shoes. Two shoes. Hmm, what should we do? I think a couple dimples. We'll try that out, see if we can get that in real quick. Oh, dimples would be great. Okay. There we go. So these are looking awesome. We're definitely going to need to get them after the break. And that was fun to put together. But oh, now, absolutely. Javier is going to teach us how to make something else super fun. I have an idea, Megan. Let's try making the craft along with Javier and his friends today. That's a great idea. It would be great to have little homemade decorations. It would even be fun to give them to people for Christmas gifts. Absolutely. Homemade gifts are the best. Time to see here's how to make a Christmas craft with Javier and his friends. You might not know how it was done before, but you'll know now. Because we're going to teach you all about it. Here's how. This week I got my friend Mateo and Genesis. And we're going to teach you guys how to build a snowman. You'll need a sock, buttons, a piece of fabric, elastics, hot glue gun, scissors, a pipe cleaner and rice or beans for filling. Okay. Cut the top off the sock with the scissors. 
be sure to get an adult to help you. Use the elastic to tie the cut ends together. Are we making a stocking? Tie it tight. Turn the sock inside out. Using a cup, scoop out some beans or rice and fill your sock about half full. Mateo figured out a clever way to fill his sock snowman. Tie an elastic around the middle of your snowman to make the body and head. Not even tighter. And now we just Time to dress the snowman up. Genesis chose this scarf for hers. Get an adult to help glue down the scarf. It will be hot, so be careful. Time to choose your buttons. We chose three for our snowman. Mateo knows what he wants. Well, you can have it by size. You get, like I do it, big, medium, and tiny. Time to glue them on. Like Genesis is coming together nicely. Okay. Color on the faces with some markers. Okay. Little tongue. Genesis gave her a tongue. Yeah. Time to cut the little carrot noses little out of the pipe cleaner actually. and glue them on the snowman. Well, we, we hope you enjoyed this week's Here's How. And from our family to yours, we wish you Merry a Merry Christmas. Christmas. Bye, Bye, guys. Bye. 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 <laughs>
As the snowfall settled down, people started to walk the streets. Merry Christmas! Happy Holidays! It was a very calm afternoon. The air was fresh. I was excited for Christmas Day. Hey, Timothy! I see you're doing some decorating. It looks pretty good. Merry Christmas, Dr. Funzo. Or should I say, Happy Holidays? There is no wrong way to say Merry Christmas. I understand. Thank you. Merry Christmas, Timothy. I can see my neighbors all taking part in their own holiday traditions and celebrations. It's great seeing friends over the holidays. Hello, Timothy. Happy holidays, Timothy. Dr. Acula, Hagatha, what are you doing here? I didn't know you celebrated Christmas, too. We don't celebrate Christmas, but we do have our own holiday traditions. We truly enjoy tobogganing over the holidays. You should see how much fun Dr. Acula can have on a crazy carpet. We also like to watch our favorite movies and drink hot chocolate with little marshmallows. Me too! Those are my favorite things. Well, of course, whether or not we share the same views on Christmas, we can share love and laughter and good times. I do not mind if you wish me a Merry Christmas, because on December 25th, I wish to be married. And I will say to you, Happy Holidays, for I hope your holidays are the happiest. I understand. Thank you, Dr. Acula. Can we help you with that star, Timothy? We love decorating, and Halloween is many moons away. Aw, oh, please! I can't reach the top. The tree was finished, and I learned a few things about how others spend their holidays. I remember a few strange Christmases in our house, but this was the first time I had ever seen a witch decorate a tree. I looked over to see Dad on the front step with two mugs of steaming hot chocolate. His smile told me that he liked the tree. And before Christmas had even begun, I appreciated the day for what it was, what it meant to me, and what it meant to others. I was joyful and blessed. What a great ending to that story. It was great to see all of our friends from Learning Out Loud helping with Timothy and his tree. Yeah, I learned that even if people celebrate Christmas, they still have traditions in their own holiday celebrations. Of course, you don't need to celebrate Christmas to enjoy the season. You know what would really make me feel in the holiday mood right now? Some good Christmas music. Well, Megan, you're in luck. We have Dr. Professor, Dino Dave, and even a surprise guest. They made a holiday tune for all of us to enjoy. It might be even more fun than classic Christmas carols. Even more fun? Oh, we definitely need to take a listen to this. Oh, yeah. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for coming. Professor Doctor here. Do you guys like Christmas? Do you like music? Do you like Santa Claus? Do you like Christmas music and Santa Claus mixed together? Well, you're in luck, because we have a Christmas music song about Santa Claus. Here we go. He's sneaking across your rooftop. He's gonna fill your day with fear. He's got a big red suit and a big white fluffy beard. Hanging stockings by the fire. Decorations on the trees. Leave Rudolph some carrots and Santa some cookies. I said, who's the boss? Who's the boss? Santa Claus. I've been working hard, making lots of toys for all the little girls and all the little boys. He lives in the North Pole, that's really far away. He visits all your houses in his flying sleigh. Said, who's the boss? Who's the boss? Santa Claus. Santa Claus. He knows if you've been mean, he knows if you've been kind, so treat others nicely and some presents you may find. If you listen really hard, you'll hear bells in the snow and a big old jolly voice saying ho, ho, ho. I said, who's the boss? Who's the boss? Santa Claus. Santa Claus. I said, who's the boss? Santa Claus, Santa Claus. What a great song. Dino Dave can really sing well. And Dr. Professor has a pretty good set of lungs on him too. He can belt out those tunes. I think I heard you singing along a bit by the end of that, Stephen. Guilty as charged. What can I say? It was a catchy tune and I couldn't help singing along. Well, I guess you learn something new about people every day. 
and we will learn lots more when we come back from our break. Oh, okay. Don't go too far. We'll be right back. Stay tuned for our Wacky Mind Buster, coming up on Learning Out Loud. Next time on Conestoga Connected, Brock McDonald and Tyler Bitten get ready to rumble in the ring on Top Contender. We delve into the world of role-playing on Geek Speak, and Curtis Gerard becomes one with nature on the great outdoors. Conestoga Connected, only on Rogers TV. Next time on Conestoga Connected, Hillary and Thomas delve into the world of comic books. Kendall's hips don't lie as she explores the African culture, and Curtis helps us find our way home if we get lost in the great outdoors. On Conestoga Connected, only on Rogers TV. Next time on Conestoga Connected, we get wet and wild on Top Contender. Cultural Corner heads to the outback for a crazy adventure, and we learn about acoustic guitar on surrounding sounds. On Conestoga Connected, only on Rogers TV. Next time on Conestoga Connected, we learn about manga and anime on Geek Speak. We explore the world of happy harmonicas on surrounding sounds and the whole nine yards on Top Contender. Conestoga Connected, only on Rogers TV. Next week on Conestoga Connected, Tyler and Brock shoot for the win in archery. Kara explores the Russian accent on Cultural Corner. And we learn first aid on the great outdoors. On Conestoga Connected, only on Rogers TV. Next time on Conestoga Connected, we learn about manga and anime on Geek Speak. We explore the world of happy harmonicas on surrounding sounds and the whole nine yards on Top Contender. Conestoga Connected, only on Rogers TV. Next time on Conestoga Connected, we get wet and wild on Top Contender. Cultural Corner heads to the outback for a crazy adventure and we learn about acoustic guitar on surrounding sounds. On Conestoga Connected, only on Rogers TV. Next time on Conestoga Connected, Brock McDonald and Tyler Bitten get ready to rumble in the ring on Top Contender. We delve into the world of role playing on Geek Speak. And Curtis Gerard becomes one with nature on the great outdoors. Conestoga Connected, only on Rogers TV. Yay, the break is over. Now we can get to our wacky mind buster. Well, I won't make you wait any longer. question from our Wacky Mind Buster last week was in which sport do you score touchdowns? Okay, let's look at our options here. There was A, football, B, basketball, C, lacrosse, or D, hockey. And the answer is A, football. And this is our last episode, kids, so we don't have another question for you this week. Oh, but Steven, we need to ask them a question. Come on, let's do something that's just easy. That way we can give the answer to them right away. Well, okay, I don't want to disappoint anyone. Here's a good question for the holidays. Which of Santa's reindeer has a red nose? Is it A, Dasher? B, Prancer? C, Rudolph? Or D, Olive? Olive? Yeah, Olive, the other reindeer. <laughs> oh, clever, I see what you did there. We'll wait for a minute, that way you kids can figure it out. Okay kids, ready? I have my guess. Me too. And the answer is C, Rudolph. Oh yeah, like in the song. I can't remember the name of it for the life of me. Well, that's all the time that we have for our final episode. Who knows when you'll see, we'll see you all again. Hopefully it's soon. Really soon, hopefully. Okay, but for now, we'd like to wish all of you, on behalf of us, Dino Dave, Dr. Funzo, and the rest of us at the show, a very Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year. Hey, we gotta back, better get back to see how that tree's doing. Oh yeah, let's go check it out. Turned out so good. Now all the kids at home can see what a Christmas tree looks like. It's too bad there's no snow. Hopefully we get some snow for Christmas. Yeah, I want snow for Christmas. Yeah. Not too long after that though. It, nah. it can go away after that. Nah. Okay, we did, we did good. good. We High did fives? a good job. Yes. yes. <sighs> well, it's gonna be another merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs>